So you know how sometimes you're just sitting around with your group of friends and they're all talking about some classic movie that's just so amazing and they're laughing about it, thinking it's so great. They look over at you for your two cents and you realize, oops, haven't seen it. And then they all look at you with this horrified, shocked look. Well, at Red Eye, that's what we call big screen blind spot. My name is Matt Pace and my big screen blind spot is Arachnophobia. This is the movie from 1990 about, well, arachnophobia, fear of spiders. And I still remember where I was when I heard about this movie's existence. I was about seven at the time. Everyone has that thing that freaks them out that they just really want to stay away from. I am not a fan of gigantic spiders, must say. Fine, fine with snakes, fine with a lot of the other things that freak people out. Giant spiders, not for me. So when I was seven, wasn't really that interested in seeing it. Finally caught up with it recently. In the movie, Jeff Daniels moves his family to a small town in California where they figure, hey, I'm going to be the one town doctor. There's not much activity here. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. Of course, eventually they find a web the size of the entire interior of their barn and clearly things are not fine at all. Uh, I actually really like this movie. I was surprised. It's PG-13, so, and made, like I said, in 1990, so you sort of think you know what you're getting into here, but it's not that campy, and it is funny. The funny parts actually come from John Goodman as an exterminator. I absolutely loved, even in the credits, maybe this only makes me laugh, but in the credits, they mention all the actors who are in it, and then, and John Goodman as Delbert. Why they needed to specify that John Goodman was playing Delbert in the credits, I don't know. They could have just said, and John Goodman. But Delbert is the name of the exterminator, so I'm glad that we have that on the record. The movie actually, for anyone who has even a mild issue with spiders or just the thought of insects crawling along and coming into their bowl of popcorn or descending in the shower, I think this movie will freak you out. I mean, those are very, compared to the way that most horror movies are these days, with these unrealistic situations and these monsters that are supernatural or something like that. This is just an old-fashioned type scary situation where it actually reminded me of Contagion in a way where something terrible is slowly consuming the society and everyone's not sure what to do about it and before you know it you're dead. So I really thought that it worked. It's a little bit funny when the music gets super dramatic and all we see like really low on the ground is a one inch spider just crawling along and they're trying to make that sound super intense as if there's a giant monster when it really it's like a killer this big because while there are deadly venezuelan tarantulas or whatever the spiders are actually called in this movie there are a lot of their younger cousins or relatives or something that are smaller and still very deadly so I actually think this really works and holds up to a surprising degree. I would say in terms of uh, how believable it is, maybe a four? I mean, I don't really know what goes on in the insect or arachnid community there these days, but perhaps one could bite a photographer and sneak over to the U.S. from outside the country in a coffin and then spread throughout a community maybe could happen and yeah i just i thought this movie unfolded in a really believable way they show one spider becoming two spiders becoming eight spiders becoming a, a billion spiders and this is for creatures that don't even have reproductive organs so i'm not a scientist i'm not sure how that works but i believed it as far as cheesiness yeah there's a little there are a few moments where you laugh because it's ridiculous the first scene in which a uh, spider jumps out looks really, really fake, where I thought I was in for a pretty terrible movie, actually. But most of the time it looks real. I don't know how they got such good performances from all the spiders, but they're, it's totally credible. Really good. And, of course, for a movie from 23 years ago that was rated PG-13, it's not going to be super gory. And that's good. You don't need to see buckets and buckets of blood coming out when the spiders or biting the people. Uh, I just thought the movie plays off of the viewer's discomfort and they're putting themselves in the position of the characters of saying, wow, I really would not want that to happen to me and, and who would? So good stuff. Glad I saw this.